Hi, this is Ali Arango, and the newest version of Blender just recently came out. And today I would like to show you how I set up a new version of Blender when it comes out. So let's get started. Okay, as far as setting up a new version of Blender, uh, what we'll be actually setting up is preferences in the user preferences. Okay, and to set them up, what we'll do is go to File, User Preferences. And then once we come into uh, User Preferences, normally the first thing I do is I go to Interface. And uh, actually what I do here is uh, I select Rotate Around Selection. And what this means is, is when you select a face, you generally can rotate around that face. If it's a, a vertice or vertex, you can rotate around the uh, vertex or edge and so forth. Okay, the next thing I do is I go to uh, input and then as people who watch this channel know, uh, typically I switch to select with left click because Blender's default select is with right click. And if you come from other Adobe programs or other 3D programs like I originally did, this tends to confuse the heck out of you. Anyway, uh, generally right here, that's all I do as far as input. I then move on to add-ons. And uh, I put a lot of uh, check marks next to the different add-ons, like by putting a check mark next to here for 3D uh, navigation. This gives us a navigation tab, which makes manipulating the view inside of Blender very easy, uh, as, particularly when dealing with a laptop or when you don't have a, a mouse. But even with a mouse, just having this check mark here tends to make things just a lot easier as far as dealing with navigating around your view inside of Blender. To be totally honest with you, uh, there's some add-ons that I know that it's favorable to have them on as far as how I work with Blender, but typically as I work in Blender, I tend to learn things, forget things, and then relearn them, uh, as strange as that may sound. However, so I put a check mark next to here for uh, copy attributes menu. I put a check mark next to here for 3D view dynamic uh, spacebar menu. Uh, I put a check mark mark uh, next to here for extra objects so pretty much when you go to add in things inside of blender you have multiple things i believe this enables you to have gears and other miscellaneous objects like when you had shift a to bring things inside of uh or into blender i put a check mark next to here uh because i believe that this allows you to basically have like a, a iv pattern go around curves I put a check mark next to here because this allows you to have uh, simple trees brought into Blender. I put a check mark next to here because I believe this assists you as far as the shaping of curves. This one, I think, uh, allows you to have very easy access to making landscapes inside of Blender. This video actually probably helped me out because normally I just go through where I put the check marks in that I want and I don't think too much about them other than the fact that these add-ons are favorable. Anyway, uh, I put a check mark next to Bolt Factory as this allows you to have bolts as far as like adding in objects or bringing in objects into Blender. I put a check mark next to here because I believe this brings in even other objects uh, that normally wouldn't be in if you didn't have this uh, check mark selected. Uh, this uh, Animate All I'm trying to remember <laughs> what that is. It's favorable. Uh, I have to go back over that. Again, I just wanted to be the, a quick video. If you're looking at this video, expecting it to be, you know, super in-depth. That You know, the newest version of Blender came out. I was very excited. I was about to set it up. I said, eh, what the heck? I'll make a video showing, you know, people what how I set up Blender. Uh, put a check mark next to here. Generally, again, the, the thought being that this is favorable. In the past, I've went over a lot of these things, checked them out, and that's how I decided that uh, using these add-ons were favorable, but to be honest, I cannot remember uh, all of the reasons why they're favorable uh, now. And again, this is what's favorable to myself. Uh, generally, I skip these right here. I keep scrolling down. I generally skip uh, most of this unless I'm 
directly doing with an After Effects file, which sometimes you know, I'll be in the middle of a project and I'll think that I'll need After Effects, as well as the Unreal Engine. So I'll, I'll you know, uh, check mark the sometimes. Uh, same thing with this uh, export camera animation, depending if I'm working on a project doing with something with After Effects, I'll put a check mark uh, next to here. However, right now I'm not, so I'll just scroll down more. By the way, when you see this little symbol here, I believe this is something that uh, doesn't quite work right inside of Blender. But for my, again, for my personal settings, which is what this video is about, I generally you know skip past these right here. I absolutely love this add-on. And what this add-on does is this allows you to bring images inside of or into Blender uh, as planes, as 3D planes, which I think is absolutely spectacular. Okay, generally I put a check mark next to uh, Make Human. I've done some uh, tutorial videos about uh, using Make Human. Make Human is great for bringing into Blender human beings that are uh, that you can actually customize. And you can see right here, these ones are already checked by default uh, for working with uh, Blender. I, I hope in the very near future to start putting a check mark next to here as I have an extreme interest in a virtual reality. I got a virtual reality headset a couple weeks ago, uh, but currently right now I'll leave it unchecked. We come to here and I put check marks in all of these right here. This one right here allows you to very easily have Blender check out uh, meshes for working with 3D printers, which is spectacular. B Services allows you to do retypo retypology fairly easily, as well as make clothing fairly easily. So this is uh, excellent. I cannot think currently right now what this add-on does, other than my brain is telling me that it's favorable. Uh, this loop tools from watching the tutorials on this channel. If you have watched the tutorials on this channel before, you'll know that I use loop tools uh, a lot and I absolutely love this add on. Uh, these other ones are nice as well. However, this one right here is, is pretty much a must for me. This cell fracture, I'll put a check mark next, next to here. This allows you to uh, have things explode uh, fairly in a very actually not I was gonna say easy in a very cool way I'll put a check mark next to cloud generator as this allows you to generate clouds very easily I'll put a check mark next to uh, linked library fracture tools also grease scatter objects uh, paint palettes Auto tile and uh, some of my other videos, I would set up the uh, tiling uh, pr primarily uh, as far as working with cycles. And uh, I I would I would set you know particular settings just to make my computer run faster. As soon as this add on or when, whenever this add on came out, it tended it took away the need for me to believe that I had to set up particular file sizes or, or tile sizes. I should say. When working with cycles, this allows you to copy different settings easily in Blender, as far as I know. Uh, this allows you to export graphics outside uh, or out of Blender. Export graphics outside. Export my brain, I'm sorry. To export graphics very similar to Illustrator or Inkscape out of Blender. This right here allows you to have the meta rig, which is basically uh, an armature that is ready made to be able to put inside of meshes. So this is absolutely essential to a lot of the work that I do inside of Blender. I'll also put check marks next to right here, which helps with texture work. And then I'll put a check mark right here, which deals with having the pie menus pop up, which is like kind of like a circular interface 
as you work inside of Blender. Okay, once I have those uh, check marks in there, and again, this is just a general default. Typically, you know, a new version of Blender comes out. I go to interface, input, you know, I, I do the settings. I go to add-ons. It's like click, 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 click. Uh, I just wanted to show you again how I set up for my personal settings as far as I use Blender. And as far as the things that I didn't choose, you can easily come back and either click, uh, put a check mark next to an add-on to use it or... Uh, and you can do that temporarily or put a check mark next to an add on and then save user settings, which will make it so that your current version of Blender, whenever it pops up, will have these add ons ready to go as far as using Blender. Typically, I'll go right past themes and file since I'm fine with the default theme of Blender, which is what you see here. And then I'll go right on to system. When I come into system, typically what I'll use is I'll put a check mark next to region overlap. And what that does is it makes uh, your interface in Blender so that without getting all into it, it, it makes things basically look nicer as far as working with Blender. So certain things will be transparent uh, as far as I know and overlap other things. And I generally like how that looks, though it's not necessary. It's, it's more of an appearance thing that you would like to use, I'll scroll down here. I have a NVIDIA processor in my computer, so this is very important to me, so I'll click here to change to a CUDA. You can see my uh, uh, NVIDIA processor right here. This right here is a setting to use with animation in Blender, making, making animations run faster in Blender, and last time I clicked, I could not use it. Hmm. This is interesting. Last time I couldn't get this to change at all, so who knows, maybe this, I'm not sure what open MP even means, but that would be very, very, very cool if I could actually use this with my uh, current computer. And since I don't currently know what this is, though I'm happy it's allowing me to even have an option, I'm actually gonna turn this back to none for now. I figure I'll, I'll learn about this you know, what's going on with that and come back later. You might say, well, why would you, if you want this, why would you uh, turn it off for now? Why not just leave it on? And the reason why is because I'm going to click save user settings. And basically when I click this, now all of these settings will be saved as far as the add-ons, the input as far as the, as, as far as the file user preferences for when I turn on Blender. Uh, so I'll learn back, I'll learn about this. I'll come back, you know, temporarily turn it on, see what it does and uh, so forth. Okay, and after setting that up, generally I'm done as far as setting up for my settings or user preferences as far as uh, my general uses for Blender. Again, I just wanted to show you guys how I do my personal setups for Blender. I can see somebody, now he's clicking things, he doesn't know what they are. Why is he clicking them, he doesn't know what they are. Eh, I know they're generally, generally favorable. Like I said, I got, new version of Blender came out, I'm like, yay! Figured out what the heck, I'd make this video, show you guys what I use. So, I hope this uh, video helps you out. I hope it helps you in some way. Uh, as usual, for all of those out you who like the videos on this channel, reshare them. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And if you like the videos on this channel and you would like to see more, Please subscribe and thank you for viewing.